everyone, and welcome to episode 38 of Teacher Talk. My name is Carol Richards, and I have today my husband, Sam, who's going to help me out on our first activity. Today, we're going to look at many creative ways we can use very simple repertoire to give children an experience of all the musical elements. Our repertoire today is a very simple speech rhyme, which is simplified from the original because I was using it in China. And so I wanted to make the struggle for English words less. So here it is. One, two, three, Johnny caught a flea. Johnny, 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 Johnny caught a flea. Now using this simple speech rhyme, we're going to do a movement activity first. And I like to do movement first with young children because often they've been sitting all morning in their classrooms. So it's a chance for them to move around. So the movement is going to be walk, walk, walk and high five a friend. So Sam and I will try and, and uh, demonstrate this. Here we go. One, two, three. Johnny caught a flea. Johnny, 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 Johnny caught a flea. Excellent. And we can do that several times and fast and slow and so on. We can also stand in a circle and walk on the spot. And each child can put their own sound on beat four. Shall we try? Here we go. One, two, three. Johnny caught a flea. Johnny, 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 Johnny caught a flea. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, thank you, Sam. You're welcome. So we can, you can think up your own movements. Now, the reason why we're doing movement, besides giving the children a chance to get their brains in gear, because that's what movement does, and to be a little bit creative with their movement, you can think up your own. And so as you speak the poem and they do their movements, they're learning the poem too, aren't they? Another thing that we can do with this poem is we can substitute vocal sounds for the words. So let's think about this. You have one, two, three, Johnny, Cotta, and I put those two together, and flee. So we have six words that we need six unique sounds for. So we might ask the children to substitute vocal sounds, or we might do one first as an example, like boom, doom, doom, dee dee, ooh, ooh, all right, that's one possibility. So children can experiment with their voices in substituting sounds. Another thing that we can do with this poem is we can substitute body percussion sounds for the six words. So we might do something like this. All right, that's one way we can do it. And after demonstrating, we might then get the children in groups to work out their own, or they can perform ours. The vocal and body percussion versions can be performed also as a round. Softer, louder, faster, slower, so the children experience tempo and dynamics, as well as creative composition. One of the fun things we can do is we can work out an untuned percussion arrangement. So we give the children some untuned percussion and they work out their own substitution and their own arrangement. I did this exercise at a workshop and I'd like to show you a video 
of my favorite peekaboo girls doing an untuned percussion arrangement of this poem. Easy. Children can do that as well. Now, having done an untuned percussion version, we can also do a tuned percussion version. And to make it simple, you could use major pentachordal or minor pentachordal, five notes next to each other. So you might come up with a tune that goes like this. La, ti, do, do, re, mi. Mi, re, do, re, mi, re, do, re, mi, re, do, ti, la. The children can learn that part as an A section and then they can use the same rhythm and make up their own melody. And then you have the makings of a rondo, teacher's version, children's version, teacher's version, children's version, and so on. Another thing that we can do is we can sit in a circle and we can say the poem together and we can make up some body percussion patterns and perform these. This is great fun. I want to show you a video by Chris Olson and her jazz class because she and the class have devised some fantastically interesting body percussion and movements to a song. So perhaps you'll get some new ideas just watching Chris. today is a simple piece of repertoire can be used in lots of creative ways. This is a diagram of how or if people look at simple repertoire. Look at all the things we could try with a simple piece of repertoire. Well, thank you for joining me today and I hope I see you again in Teacher Talk. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.